How you guys look folk here and welcome back to the FIFA 17 team of the season player review. Today we're going to be reviewing the 89 rated Greek striker Mitragolu. Uh, he cost me 30,000 coins and in the 5 games that I played with him he scored me 7 goals and got me 0 assists. He has a medium low work rate along with a 5 star week for some 3 star scummers. So let's now get into his in game stats and highlights. Ok guys so going to Mitragolu's in game stats. The 4 main stats on his card would stand out to me are his 92 aggression, his 91 jumping, his 97 attack positioning and his 93 finishing. He doesn't have any specialists, but does have the three traits of power header, backs into player, and target forward. And before we guys get off into the pros and cons for this cut, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing his name properly. I think I am, but if I'm not, please let me know. Uh, but anyway, guys, getting off into the pros for me, his first pro is his finishing. He does have the 93 finishing on his card, which I just talked about, as well as the 92 shots on his base card. And for me, they were both absolutely definitely reflected. I mean, first of all, seven goals in five games is a very nice return. And also that five-star weak foot was very, very important. He does have the preferred foot of the left, which I'm not really a big fan of with most players, but it doesn't really matter because he's got that five-star weak foot, which means he's just going to be as good as with the right foot as what he is with the left foot. Now, going back to what I said before about his finishing and stuff, that weak foot does help the finishing definitely and from outside the box and inside the box he was both equally good at doing both and um, in general just very very happy with his finishing his second pro for me is his dribbling this was quite a surprising um, pro to me he is six foot two uh, with the 87 dribbling now usually for me in the past tall players don't really have that good dribbling even if the stats of dribbling is high but for me Mitragola's dribbling was actually very very good and um, he was definitely able to use that to kind of create a lot of chances for himself and it was very in general pressed with um with his dribbling and then his third pro is his positioning now this is one of the this is one of the pros which i'm really really happy with he does have 97 attack positioning and that was definitely reflected in game uh it's very good for making runs um or just in general being in the right place at the right time to finish off chances he was just very very good at doing that and combining that with the good finishing um the good physicality, the good dribbling, you know, it just makes him a very good striker to use. And I was very, very happy with that. And that does lead on to the last pro, which I just said before about the physical just then. Uh, yeah, his physical was very good. He does have that six foot two height. And the physical was very much important in terms of being able to create chances or... Uh, like for himself or for other players it was very good and yeah just very happy with his physical on to the cons the only con i've got for him is that he does lack pace and he really really does lack pace i mean i put the hawk uh chem style on him and um you know with the hawk chem style on his pace definitely did feel better than 67 but it didn't feel that good overall and you definitely need to play this guy in a two-man attack in my point of view just so you got somebody else who can really support him and um yeah, it was quite annoying sometimes, that lack of pace, because it does kind of limit you to what you can sometimes do with this card. Thankfully, he does have that very good physical, so it's not that bad. I mean, you can use his physical to kind of get up the pitch, as well as his good dribbling, but it is just a little bit annoying. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is going to finish off this player review. Uh, I am going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. He was a pretty decent player to use. Would I recommend buying him? I mean, I got him for 30,000 coins. I wouldn't be surprised if he's down to about 25,000 coins, which is a very, very good price for some of the stats that you're seeing. However, there are many other leagues uh, in Team of the Season where you can get players that are even better for around the same price. The issue being, for me as well, is the Greek nationality. You can't really get that many good people that link into him. You're kind of almost forced to have a player around Legends if you got the coins, or play him in a league and OS team. So it's not very suitable in that sense. But overall, guys, I mean, he's a pretty fun player to use. I don't know if I just really recommend everybody to um, to really put him into a team because I just think there's better alternatives out there. But he was a decent player though overall. But anyway guys, that's going to finish off this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys later.